Hi, Julie here, and today I'm going to show you a new project that I came up with um, from doing some searches on Etsy and happened to notice that uh, there were some bracelet helpers that make it easy to actually put on bracelets that have clasps like toggle clasps and, and uh, lobster claw clasp. And so I decided, well, you know, I'm going to go look, take a look and see if there are some uh, bracelet helpers that were made with paper beads. I couldn't find any, so I thought I'd come up with my own pattern. And this is what I came up with. And uh, what you're going to need is the pattern instructions. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm going to show you how to actually use this at the end of the video. Okay, so you're going to need the pattern instructions, which is available at paperbeadcrafts.com in the pattern section under, well, in the patterns under miscellaneous. And what you're going to get is this sheet of paper that's going to have the list of materials and tools that you're going to need. And it will have all of the instructions right here. And uh, you're going to need two alligator clips. This is, each sheet of paper is actually going to make two of these. Um, so for each bracelet helper, you're going to need an alligator clip. You're going to need one sheet of printed scrapbook paper, 8.5 by 11, or A4 if you live in the UK. A sheet of copy paper to print the paper B template if you want to. Uh, that is optional because I do give you the actual sizes of the strips that you're going to be cutting. And uh, you're going to need the PDF file of the 5 8 inch on the wide end, quarter inch on the narrow end, and 11 inches long cutting template. And then you're going to need 12 beads that have a hole that's big enough to go on the wire that you're going to be using. And that happens to be a, five, um, a 16 gauge wire. Uh, so let's see, and you're going to need 12 of those round beads, and then you're going to need 14 inches, which again will make two, so you're actually going to use, actually you're going to need six inches of the 16 gauge wire in any color. Um, I used in my examples here a, a purplish color and a black color. You can actually get this 16 gauge wire at Walmart. I paid a dollar for like 4.9 feet, I think it was. Okay, and then you're going to need a head pin, which is for the dangle here. And I have two inch head pins, but you really don't need one that long. Probably an inch long will do. You're going to need four round beads that are four millimeters. That's for these little dangles here. That's the only place you're going to need the four millimeter beads. You're going to need plain white glue when you're making your paper beads. You're going to need bead glazing supplies, anything, any way that you like to glaze your beads. You're going to need those supplies. You're going to need a way of cutting your paper. And I use a guillotine cutter and a rotary cutting, rotary cutter and cutting mat. Uh, you're going to need round nose pliers. You're going to need wire cutters. You're going to need flat nose pliers. You're going to need two paper bead rollers. One is a 564 inch paper bead roller and the other one's a 3 16 inch paper bead roller. And then what you're also going to need is, of course, the scrapbook paper and the cutting template, which is right here. And what I like to do is I like to print it out separately and then layer them together and cut them all at the same time. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the clips on here. And then this gets me ready to actually cut the paper. Okay, and with that, um, I'll show you the what how to roll up the beads in the next step. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need, uh, go ahead and set your instructions aside. And I've already cut up that paper, which is right here. And yes, it's the same exact paper as I used to make the um, finished bracelet helpers. And uh, this is leftover strip from that sh those sheets. And I also have some tiny strips left over. Those will get rolled up and I'll use them for an another project. They won't go to waste. And uh, right now you're going to need the two paper bead rollers. And you're going to need a little pallet. 
and some glue. You're also going to need a toothpick to apply the glue on your strips. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to roll your little beads and your big fat bead. And, uh, and we'll talk about the black and white beads in a little bit. Okay, basically what you're going to do is you're going to open up your glue and stick it in your little palette. And any white glue will work. You probably recognize the bottle. And uh, I'm going to start with the little one, which is the 564. And it has, has um, black ink on it. That's why you can see the little black lines. Um, ignore that for now. I'll explain why that's there. Okay, so just go ahead and roll it up as you normally would any other type of bead. And again, this is the 564 paper bead roller because that's actually the right size that will work with the copper the wire that is the 16 gauge. So just go ahead and roll that up. And you're going to need five of this size for each of the bracelet helpers. And yes, I have a lot more strips that I actually need. And that's because I'm going to make these available on Etsy. So I'm just going to go ahead and make them. And go ahead and apply your glue. Okay, better grip. Come on. Okay. Apply the glue to the end. Okay, and that's basically how you roll up the little bead. And set those aside in a little cup or something. And then how you do the bigger bead is you're going to roll two strips together at the same time. And I like to layer them like this. Add a little glue to the very end. And slide them together. If one is slightly bigger than the other, it really doesn't matter. And <clears throat> just make sure that the, the, um, the narrower one, the one that's slightly narrower, and colorful is on top of the other one. Okay, and make sure your print is away from you when you start rolling. Use the larger 3 16 inch paper bead roller. I also offer these paper bead rollers on my website, paperbeadcrafts.com. In the bead roller section, you have choices of either the slotted ones like this or the split pins. Um, they're $9.95 when you buy just one. Okay. <clears throat> And they're available through Etsy, they're available through Amazon.com, and they're also available through my website at paperbeadcrafts.com. So you do have choices. Like if you already have an Amazon account, it might be just faster for you to go through that way. Okay, just go ahead and roll it. And if you notice, I'm not putting glue on until the very end. That way I can adjust it as I need to. And it looks like I'm going to have to adjust it anyway. Go ahead and put the glue on the, the first flap. And secure it down. And yes, I'm going to have the other flap pop up right here. So you're going to put glue on that one to secure that down. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this off the bead roller and adjust it as I need to. Okay, so you have one per uh, bracelet helper of this actual size, and you're going to need five made of the other size. And the size of the beads is mentioned in the instructions, so just refer to them as you need to. And I'm going to go ahead and make a whole bunch of these. And... Uh, just go ahead and glaze them as you normally would and in the next um, section after this video or this clip you'll see how I actually assemble the bead helper but I do want to talk about those black and white beads okay I have these strips here that I used for the from the cutting template and uh, what I did is I decorated them with a black sharpie like these and the way I did that is here's I've got one that's rolled up here I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on my bead roller if I can there we go 
and I'm going to pull up my black Sharpie right here. And this is actually very, very easy. You could actually go ahead and put ever what design you wanted to, but this is the way I actually did it for these. I also did it for the fat one too. I went ahead and put five lines from the edge of the paper, you know, the quarter inch, basically where it starts to go down to the tip. And uh, I tried to eat, space them evenly, and this one happens to be five. I think the large one has six. And then I did that also. I tried to line them up and go from the bottom to that edge again and turn it. Turn it again. And of course, I, I used black, but I could have used any color that I wanted to. In fact, um, since you can get any color wire that you want, you can actually use a Sharpie that matches the color of the wire. And you definitely want to use an alcohol-based marker like a Sharpie. That way the colors will not run. And Because uh, they didn't run at all. I tried Crayola markers, and those ran like crazy. But the Sharpies, they don't run. Okay, so that's how I did those beads. And uh, so you can, you know, use your strips that you used for the cutting template, and that way they don't have to go to waste. Just make sure that you, when you roll them up, see these little cutting lines? Make sure you roll them to the inside so that they're ba barely even visible. All right, okay, let's get started with the actual next step, which is assembling the bracelet helper. Okay, for, so for this next step, which is assembling these actual uh, bracelet helpers, what you're going to need is a pair of flat nose pliers, a pair of needle nose pliers, a pair of wire cutters, a ruler, some 16 gauge wire, some six millimeter beads that are round, uh, tiger eye, cat's eye, whatever you like, as long as the hole is big enough to go on the wire, an alligator clip. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna measure out your wire and get it cut. So let's set these aside. We're gonna use these a little bit later. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and put my beads in this little cup so they won't roll away on me. Put all my parts in there. And uh, when we get to the dangle, I'll show you what you're gonna use for that. There's actually an extra bead that you're gonna need for that. Okay, so for the wire, I got this at Walmart and I paid a dollar and got 4.9 feet of it and it's 16 gauge but you can use any 16 gauge wire that you can find and just as long as it fits through those beads or use the beads that will fit on the wire you really do need the 16 gauge you're going to measure out six inches slightly more if you want to like six and a quarter would be probably better okay so six and a quarter using your wire cutters and then you're going to use your needle nose pliers for this next part you're going to measure out about three-eighths of an inch and you're going to bend that over to a narrow shaped U just like that you want it to be narrow okay so the next step on this is you're going to take your alligator clip And you're going to put this inside the alligator clip so that the two part ends or the end of the um, wire where it's folded over touches or is at the very end here. And if you pull on it, it won't pull through. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your flat nose pliers and you're going to bend these two prongs down. And that can be a little tricky. So just take your time with it. Bend it down. You're going to do that with both sides. OK. 
Okay, and squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Okay, and that is not going to go anywhere. It's tight and it's in there. But now you're going to want to cover that up because it's not that pretty. So we're going to take the larger of the six beads in here. Yeah, they're going to be rolling, rolling all over the place. You're going to take the larger of the six beads, the one with the large hole in it, and you're going to put that one on first. And push that right over as far as it will go. That kind of holds that end that's not that pretty. It will keep it in place. Then you're going to grab your little round six millimeter beads. And not all these beads are going to fit. So I'm just going to go ahead and look at the ones that I think have a big enough hole. And I'm going to put that one on next. And then I'm going to put on one of the paper beads. And uh, these should have the 5 64 inch hole in them. And I'm going to pick out another bead and try it. Okay, that fits. And I'm just going to put on all of these beads until I have this filled up. It's going to take me a few, a few minutes here. Another six millimeter bead. And like I said, not all of them will fit if they're slightly different from each other. That one actually fits. Okay, put on the next little bead here. And these beads here, the these paper beads are 5 8 inch long. And uh, the strip started off at 5 8 inch on the wide end and quarter inch on the narrow end. And they were 11 inches long. And I used 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of copy, uh, not copy paper, but scrapbook paper. Okay. And one more bead. That's round, that is. Okay, and then the last paper bead. Okay, so we have about an inch left over. You're actually going to go ahead and make your simple loop at the very end. So you're going to bend it using your round nose pliers, you're going to bend it over and you're going to cut off um, the excess down to a quarter of an inch because you're making a very small simple loop. And then you're going to take your round nose pliers again and you're going to make that loop as small as you possibly can and kind of hide the end into the hole a little bit if you can. That'll secure it in place and when you put your dangle on it, it won't come off. All right, on the dangle will be next. Okay, so what you're going to need for the dangle is the following. A one or two inch head pin, any color will be fine. And two little tiny four millimeter round pearl type beads. And you're also going to need your needle nose pliers and your little cutters. Okay, to make this little tiny dangle, you're also going to need one of these beads that match the rest of the beads that you already put onto your bracelet helper. So what you're going to do is you're going to go get one of these beads. Of course, you can do whatever you want for your dangle, but this is what I actually happen to have done for my, brace, my bracelet helper. So let's go ahead and put one of these six millimeter round eye beads or cat's eye beads and then one more of these little teeny tiny four millimeter round pearl like beads. Okay so we're going to go ahead and make a simple loop like we did for the bracelet, bracelet helper. We're going to bend that over and then with the cutters we're going to cut it down to a quarter of an inch. Oops that one went flying. Okay so we're going to curl this over to make your simple loop. Okay, now that you have your simple loop, you're going to go open it up. And you're going to go ahead and put it on the end of your <laughs> bracelet helper. Okay, so we're going to try to put that onto the 
uh, bracelet helper and I'm going to close this up and set it aside. Close this one up, set it aside. Okay, let's grab the needle nose pliers, open this up just a tiny bit more so we can actually put it on there and put the bracelet helper simple loop onto the simple loop we just made and close it back up. Okay, now the next step I'm going to show you is actually how to use this. So, but you have your bracelet helper and yes, it is flexible so that it can conform to your wrist and make it easier to work with. And uh, so no matter, you know, what size wrist you have or what size or whatever your size hand is, it'll work. So coming up next is actually how to use it. Okay, to actually use this bracelet helper, what you're going to do is you're going to get a bracelet. This one happens to have a lobster, lobster claw clasp. And what you're going to do is you're going to put the receiving end onto your bracelet. You're going to orient it, figure out which way you want it to be put on there. And so you're going to put the clip on there. Just open up the jaws by squeezing the ends together and put it on the receiving end of your bracelet enough so that a little bit sticks out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to grab a hold of the other end because um, I have a hard time doing this myself with one hand. So I'm just going to grab a hold of it and I'm going to pick up the, the bracelet helper. Yeah. I'm going to wrap it around. I'm going to go ahead and clip it on from the underside and let go. And that's that. And it's on there. You've got it on there. And to get it off, you just reverse the process. Now, if, you, if you're like me and you actually do have a hard time to squeeze the little clasp, just take your time with it and squeeze it and now it's off. And that's how you use the bracelet helper. And I do actually have some of these bracelet helpers for sale if you don't want to make one. Uh, they're going to be on Etsy, and uh, they're going to be about $15, $16. haven't decided quite yet, and they'll be in different colors, um, so you can check that out. And also, if you do want to make it, the free pattern will be on our website at paperbeadcrafts.com in the miscellaneous section of the patterns. And it's a free pattern, and I'm going to include the free cutting template so that you'll have that to... It'll be a separate download, and but it will, the link will be provided on the same page along with the pattern project or product project instructions. And if you like this channel and you want to be notified of when I add more videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and go a little bit further with the subscribe button and get notified every time I upload one. And also go ahead and click the like button below. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and uh, in the comments section. And we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye.